everyone, this is Karen. Hey everybody, I'm Shane. Today we're looking at part one of our daily conversation and it's called Staying in shape. Mm-hmm. And the vocabulary words are shrink. Shrink. Some clothing items will shrink if washed in hot water. Scale. Scale. Louis stepped on the scale to see how much weight he had lost. Mission. Mission. The former police officer is on a mission to spread awareness about road safety. Label. Label. According to the label, this juice does not have any added sugar. Mm-hmm. So we're talking about staying in shape, right? Yeah. And looking good and healthy. So I think in the conversation, one of the characters is a little bit concerned because their pants are getting kind of tight, right? So maybe she feels like she's gaining weight, right? So right. So I think that the solution here is maybe I should eat healthier. Well, it's always a good idea to eat healthier, don't you think? Of course.、Mm -hmm. And one of the great benefits when you start to eat healthy is that you will also maintain a nice healthy body weight. You are right. Right. Do you eat healthy? I think I do eat pretty healthy. Because you really watch out for what you eat. Yeah, I try to, and I think being a vegetarian,、uh, it's a little bit easier to eat healthy. You're right. You're right. But not always. I know a lot of vegetarians who eat a lot of junk food. Do they? Yeah, because they stop eating meat,、mm -hmm. and they still feel hungry.、Mm -hmm. So they replace it with junk food. That's not a good idea. But I think, as for myself, I feel I should really eat a little healthier. Maybe more salads, more、uh, vegetables. Because sometimes I like junk food too. Well,、And、sure. I think junk food, as long as you eat it in moderation, you're right. There's nothing wrong with it. You、mm -hmm. know, it's not really junk. Just if you eat it too much, it could be. Junky, <laughs> right? So too much of anything isn't good for your body. That's right. Okay, let's learn more about staying in shape. All right, enjoy. Hello, 大家好，我是 Steven 荣中豪。今天要学到哪一些新的片语呢？第一个 ，put on。第二个 ，come up with。然后加一个名词。第三个。Pick up. 然后第四个 somebody has to be careful with something. 好，我们第一个 put on. Put on 的意思是什么呢？它可以是增加，然后一个数量。我们平常会听到是 put on weight. 这个意思就是增加了一些的重量，也表示说你变胖了。I have put on weight because of Christmas. 因为是圣诞节的关系，我增加了一些的体重，就意思是说我变胖了。Put on。除此之外，你也可以说 put on a shirt， 就是穿上衣服的意思，也有这个意思。但今天对话呢，我们会比较偏是要讲到增加这个意思。好，第二个 ，come up with， 然后加一个名词，意思就是想出还是提出一个主意，还是一个计划。Come up with an idea, 就是想出了一个主意 ，OK？ 还是 come up with a plan， 就是啊、呃、提出这个计划。好，第三个 ，pick up。pick up 呢，可以是选择，也可以是采用。OK？ 有的时候你也可以说，呃 ，pick up the ball。有如果球在地上，就叫你就是要采用，还是拿起这个球，还是也可以说 ，I picked up a new hobby。OK， 就是我选择了一个新的兴趣，然后采用了它。就是我现在有一个新的一个兴趣。I picked up a new hobby。那等一下我们的对话影片，我们要看它的 pick up 是用在哪一个意思。然后第四个 ，somebody has to be careful with something， 就是某人应该要注意某一件事情。OK， 比如说 ，he has to be careful with the hot pan。OK， 他现在拿着一个很热的一个平底锅，一个 pan。So he has to be careful with the pan， 就是他要注意在用这个平底锅的时候，要稍微注意一下，不要被烫到了。好，等一下这些片语呢，也会出现在我们的对话影片。Marina and Allison are unpacking their spring clothing. I think my pants shrunk. The pants aren't smaller. 
You've gotten bigger. That's impossible. I weigh the same as I did in high school. Is that so? Prove it. Fine. <laughs> the scale is broken. It's not broken. I'll show you. <laughs> I've put on three kilograms. It's not broken? You mean I'm too fat for these pants? My life is over. We've got to get in shape. Let's make a pact to get healthy. That way, we can hold each other accountable. You're on. Pull up a chair and help me come up with an exercise plan. Uh, Marina, I can't sit down. <laughs> 好，那这个 conversation 呢，它是 staying in shape. 什么是 stay in shape 呢？就是维持身体健康。So when you say someone is in shape， 意思是说那个人很健康，他的身体很健康。So part one， making a pact to get healthy。那 pact 是什么呢？就是一个约，一个契约。所以这个意思呢，就是健康契约。Making a pact to get healthy。那 pact 跟 contract 的差别是，平常 contract 是那种真的是要签名那种约。Make a pact with someone 呢，就是跟一个人就是约定要去做某一件事情，比较没有那么正式，没有像 contract 一样那么的正式。好，这个 conversation 呢，它是 Marina and Allison are unpacking their spring clothing。这个 unpack 这个动词呢，就是从一个盒子还是从一个地方取出一些东西。所以他们现在在 unpacking， 就是从一些箱子里面取出了一些的衣服，哎，一些春天会穿的一些衣服、春装。好，那 Allison 就先讲话。他说 ，I think my pants shrunk。好，我们先说 shrunk 这个字，如果是原形动词是 shrink。All right, shrink 呢，它的意思就是缩水了，还是缩小了。那 shrink 的过去式呢，其实有两种，一个是 shrink， 一个是我们现在看到的 shrunk。OK， shrink 是 S H R A N K。然后英文呢，就是有的时候有一些动词，它就是有两种不同的过去式。然后唯一的原因就是因为已经太多人用不对的了，所以现在已经有两种不同的过去式。所以你也可以说 I think my pants shrank。你也可以说 I think my pants shrunk。All right， 那它的 PP 动词呢，就是要说 shrunk or shrunken。OK， my pants have shrunk。还是 my pants have shrunken. Shrunken is S H R U N K E N. Okay, 这个两个都可以。所以呢，这个三态动词可以是 shrink, shrank, shrunk， 也可以是 shrink, shrunk, shrunken。那如果是讲 my pants are shrunken， 你把这个 shrink 变成形容词，它就会就会是 shrunken. S H R U N K E N. 好。那他现在 Allison 在说，好像我的裤子缩水了。I think my pants shrunk. 然后 Marina 就说 ，The pants aren't smaller. 裤子没有变小。You've gotten bigger. 你变大只了。哇，讲话非常的直接。Allison 就说 ，That's impossible. 这是不可能的。I weigh the same as I did in high school. 我现在的体重跟高中时是一样的。I weigh the same as I did in high school. 那 Marina 就说 ，Is that so? 似乎有点不太相信，是这样吗 ？Prove it， 就是来证明一下吧。然后 Allison 就说 ，Fine， 可以啊。She weighs herself on a scale. 好 ，weigh something 呢，就是去量一个体重。OK， 所、so、以他现在在量他自己的体重，他站上去这个 scale scale 呢，就是一个磅秤，这个机器就是 scale。So she weighs herself on a scale。好，他就说 the scale is broken。好，这个体重机坏了 ，is broken。然后 Marina 就说 it's not broken， 它没有坏。I'll show you。我现在量给你看。So she steps on the scale. 这个时候，她就站上这个体重机。她就说啊 ，I've put on three kilograms. 所以她现在用了我们一个片语 put on， 然后加一个体重，表示说她增加了三公斤，我胖了三公斤。I've put on three kilograms. Allison 就有点疑惑。她说 ，It's not broken. 没有坏吗 ？You mean I'm too fat for these pants? 
，那意思是说我现在太胖了，我穿不下这个裤子了吗 ？I am too fat for these pants. My life is over. OK， 他说我的人生已经毁了，已经完了。Marina 就说 ，We've got to get in shape. 我们现在必须要 got to do something， 就是必须要做这个事情。Get in shape 就是我们刚刚提到的要维持这个身体健康。Get in shape. Let's make a pact to get healthy. 我们现在呢，我们来一起做这个约定。Make a pact， 然后是要来变得更健康。To get healthy. That way， 那样的话 ，we can hold each other accountable. 好，什么是 hold someone accountable 呢？就是要对这个人说你有这个责任。OK， 就是如果你今天答应了说你要做一件事情的话，那必须必须是意思就是说你必须要 hold 住这样子的约。约定，你一定要有这样的责任。所以 hold each other accountable 就是我们必须，我们可以彼此负责。All right， 那 Alison 就回他说 ，You're on， 你这样子的一种约定，好啊，我接受，我们就这样说定了。Now Marina 就说 ，Pull up a chair， 就是拉一张椅子过来 ，and help me come up with an exercise plan。好，现在另外另外一个片语也出现了。他说 ，Help me 就协助我，帮助我想一个运动计划。Come up with an exercise plan. 然后 Allison 就回他说，呃、uh, ，Marina， 呃、uh, ，Marina， I can't sit down. 我无法坐下，因为他现在那个裤子太紧了，他无法坐下来。好，那现在我们就进到我们的第二段对话。Allison is having lunch. Marina joins her. What are you eating? Since we're on a mission to eat healthier, I picked up a salad. You have to be careful with prepackaged salads. Sometimes they contain a lot of added fat or salt, and the vegetables are often processed, so a lot of nutrition is lost. You should check the nutrition label to make sure it's healthy. What about this green juice? Store-bought green juice often contains lots of sugar. But it's green. How could it be bad? Even so, making your own fresh juice is always better. <音>好，第二段对话呢是 watching what you eat， 就是注意饮食。Allison is having lunch. Allison 正在吃午餐。Marina joins her. Marina 呢就跟她一起吃。Marina 就说。What are you eating? 你在吃什么 ？Allison 就回他说 ，Since we're on a mission to eat healthier， 因为呢，我们既然已经有这个任务要吃的比较健康，所以 mission 就是任务的意思。I picked up a salad. 我就买了一个沙拉。所以呢，我们的另外一个片语出现了。这个时候 pick up 不是采用，还是捡到的意思，还是选择的意思？有比较像比较像选择。它在这个 sentence 里面的意思就是说，我呢，我选择了一个沙拉，然后买了这个沙拉。I picked up a salad. 就是我。我买了一个沙拉。那 Marina 就说 ，You have to be careful with pre-packaged salads. 什么是 pre-packaged？ Package 的意思呢，就是包装的。那 pre-package 呢，就是已经包装好的东西，已包装的东西就是 pre-packaged。它意思就是说，你得要小心已包装好的沙拉。而不是现现场就比较新鲜的沙拉 ，fresh salads。他说 ，sometimes they contain a lot of added fat or salt。有的时候呢，他们会呃含有一些大量增加的、添加的脂肪 ，fat 跟盐 ，salt。And the vegetables are often processed。而且素菜它们经常呢都是有加工过的 ，OK。Process 就是加工过的 ，so a lot of nutrition is lost. Nutrition 呢就是营养 ，OK， 很多这些营养大量已经流失了 ，a lot of it is lost. You should check the nutrition label to make sure it's healthy. Nutrition 我们已经说是营养，那这个 label 呢就是标签 ，so nutrition label 呢就是这个营养标签。很多食物，如果你看外面，它会跟你讲说它有钠含哪一些的，比如说有钠啊，有呃钙啊，有很多不同的东西，它也会跟你说它里面有哪一些的材料。这就是一个 nutrition label， 一个营养的标签。他说你应该要好好去检查 check 这个。
营养的标签 ，to make sure it's healthy， 来确保就是 make sure 它是健康的 healthy。那 Alison 就说 ，What about this green juice？ 那这个绿色果汁呢？那这个时候 ，Marina 就回他说 ，Store-bought green juice often contains lots of sugar. Store 就是店 ，OK. Bought 就是买，把它们放在一起，然后放一个连线字的话，它就变成一个形容词，就是商店买的东西，就是 store-bought. OK. So store-bought green juice 就是你在商店买的绿色果汁。平常还是通常 often contains 就是含有 lots of sugar 就是大量的糖，然后这个时候 Allison 就说 ，but it's green， 但是它是绿色的 ，how could it be bad？ 它怎么可能会不好呢？嗯，很多人会觉得只要是绿色的东西，应该就是意思是说它是健康的吧。然后 Marina 就说 ，even so。就是即使如此 ，making your own fruit fresh juice is always better. 就是如果是自己打新鲜果汁 ，making your own fresh juice 总是比较好 ，is always better. 好，所以呢，希望在这个两段对话里面，你们有学到一些新的单字，还有学到怎么用我们今天要学的片语。让我们再下一次见，拜拜。There are all kinds of exotic birds here at Sydney Zoo. Here you may see cockatoo, a kind of parrot. They are native to Australia and a few other island countries. Out of the 21 different species, 10 of them are found only in Australia. They are recognized by their crests, which are the feathers on top of their heads. Most cockatoos are black, white, or grey-colored, but their crests, tails. Or faces might have some bright colors on them. They like to eat insects, flowers, fruits, and seeds. When they eat, cockatoos flock together. They have short legs and strong claws. In the wild, cockatoos make their nests inside of trees. People like to have cockatoos as pets too. At the bird area of the zoo. People move the trees from their natural habitats and keep them in big cages. With good care and protection, you can closely observe this special species flying by. Here is more information. Crest. This bird has a red crest on its head. Drum. The man drummed his fingers on the table. Flock. There is a flock of birds. Flying in the sky. Molt. Baby chickens molt their feathers when they are 18 months old. Pattern. I like the pattern on your dress. Plumage. Brown plumage helps birds hide in the forest. Preen. Birds preen themselves to clean their feathers. Recognize. The policeman recognized him as a thief. Waddle, ducks waddle when they walk. Wingspan, this bird has a very small wingspan. Thank you for watching today's episode, and we'll catch you later. See you next time.